It's, it's been a fun launch. We launched paid posts on January 8th during CES with the, the relaunch of NewYorkTimes.com, which was the fifth ever design and iteration of, of our site in 17 years. We were so excited to have the launch of paid posts coincide with the site relaunch. Really a message to the market that we were deadly serious about both native advertising and branded content. And I would say we are, I keep saying internally, we're the first at bat of what I think is going to be a very long game. So these are early days, but we're encouraged and excited by the results we've seen so far. We launched with Dell, who is a terrific partner because they really get content marketing. They get brand journalism. And I think they've done a very good job with their first four articles, which we co-produced. Um, on day two of, of launch week, we had Intel do a terrific story about kind of the fusion of technology companies and fashion companies around wearables. And then just last week, I think we took kind of a big leap forward in launching a paid post program for Goldman Sachs, which is a fairly sophisticated infographic explanation of how the capital markets work and why they matter. And the feedback on that, it just launched end of last week, but already the feedback on that in terms of reader response, social media, and just general advertiser community response has been very positive. And, and as I said, as with Dell and Intel there, we have a partner who really understands what it means to co-produce with the New York Times um, brand side content studio value adding content. So content that isn't pitching something, but in fact gives some kind of value to a user. To us, native advertising means um, using a marketer using the storytelling tool set of the times, which means the content being participatory and discoverable in all the same ways that editorial content is participatory and discoverable. So if you look at how one finds the branded content from Intel or Dell or Goldman or those who launch after on our site, it's the same way they find editorial. So primarily right now it's in what we call a ribbon, a headline ribbon that runs across the top of every article page, which is essentially like a liquid section front presenting other articles related to the topic that you're reading about, one of those articles will be a paid post. So that's the primary means of discovery right now. Over the next couple of months, we'll launch a number of other ways for the content to be discovered, including a really substantial module in the middle of our homepage. And there are kind of three principles to how we are co-creating storytelling with marketers in the paid post platform and, and potentially beyond that. One is it is never worked on, touched, um, or making use of New York Times journalists or the editorial organization in any way. So it's entirely separate from that, and we think that's very important for maintaining journalistic independence from marketer interests. Uh, number two, it is created in concert with what is now a building and growing New York Times commercial side content studio where we employ people who have the skills that folks in our newsroom room have, art direction skills, editorial direction skills, creative technology skills for developing sophisticated infographics like the one we made for, for Goldman. And then number three, and I think this is really important, we have to arrive at, and we do this through the expertise, the content studio, topics for marketers that are both, you know, germane to their real domain expertise and also relevant to our environment. And if we do all three of those things, I think we can produce content that on the merits and with good discoverability will gain audience. And we've, we've shown that in the early programs.